Rap Wars, Spoken me. Wars Kill Entertainment. Kill Let's go. Yeah. Don't be a bug uh, when I run it up. Hey. You ain't my bud. Uh, so you ain't gon' smoke you with me. Smoke Drinking with on rum. Uh, Smoking run. on blunts. Hey. Oh shit. Yeah, we got everyone from all parts of the world in here. Let's get it. <laughs> what's up, man? Yo, what's good? Is it cool if I smoke a cigarette? Yeah, you're good. This pod, you can light up a joint, whatever. All right, all right. All right, so um, what's your uh, rap name and where you're from? I go by Gypsy. I'm from Harlem, New York. Okay. And so you grew up in Harlem all your life? Until I was 16, and then I moved over to Allentown, PA. Okay. So, um, like during that like switch, do you feel like the music like was the same, or it was like different? All right, so you're into all that, like, everything pretty much, that battle-type stuff. Yeah, man. That's what's up. So did you grow up, like, just battling other artists, like, just artists in the neighborhood, doing, like, rap battles and all? Whoever whoever was around that, because I was with a, a label before, um, MOB from Murder All Biz Entertainment down in Allentown. And then um, anybody that was around that wanted to test their skills or uh, get better or anything like that, we just put each other against each other. Okay. And what age was this around? Like during your like early teens? Um, I, started at, I started really rapping in like 15. Okay, so early on and stuff. So when was like the first time you ever like just got into music, just put the pen on the pad and all? Well, when I moved from New York down to Allentown, um, I had a group of friends that I was with and their father actually had his own label and they would do beats, they would have their own artists and everything. And I, I always been a fan of rap, you know. I'm Puerto Rican and Romanian. Um, my father is Romanian, my mother is Puerto Rican. So, were you ever into that, like, Latino rap yeah, and all? Yeah, the reggaeton and all that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you put you like put that in like your raps and all too. Of course, of course. I got a boy that I work with. His name is Futuro Eight. He goes by. Um, he does the reggaeton um, parts in my songs. Uh, I'm like a Noriega. <laughs> I, I speak Spanish, but it's, it's broken Spanish. Oh, okay, so you could you're like to switch off to like English to Spanish in the track. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So, like, um, growing up in Harlem, was there, like, a specific style of rap, like, everyone was just rapping, like, the same and all? Because I know in Cali, they got, like, a certain flow to them. So, would you say, like, yeah. well, where you grew up? I, I come from Spanish Harlem, okay? <laughs> it's two sides, east side, west side, you know? So um, I'm from the east side, and we we basically got some flavor over there, bro. We 
we can basically go to any B and kill it if we really feeling it, you know? Yeah. So there's like a whole like it's there's it's split pretty much. Like it's on a different side, it's like whole different than like your side. Like growing up. It's it's my it's majority um Latinos over on the east side. All right. And it's um yeah. <laughs> okay. So um how did you get the name uh Gypsy? I'm Armenian Gypsy. So I just took being a gypsy and use it as a name. All right. So what does that like mean? Like to anyone All who right, doesn't so know? basically we're known as travelers. And we're also known for like doing tarot cards, telling your fortune, um, basically spiritual shit, healing, all that. And um, I put that, I put that all in my music, man. Okay. I, I talk, I talk about all that. So I do have you like a little character for myself? You know. All right. So are you also one of those? Like, do you dabble into all that, like, uh, spiritual stuff? Yeah, all my family does that shit, yeah. Okay. And uh, so you said you put that in your music and all? Uh Uh-huh. All right. I'm sorry, man. It's just, you know, we get a bad rep as gypsies, you know? And they'll they tell you that uh, we do s- s- witchcraft, all types of shit, you know. So it's, like, it's not all that. Yeah, it's not all that. Like some of us, we do, but it's not all that. Like dark magic. Yeah, all that. All, yeah. Yeah. So they're just overhyping it, or just like saying like it's what it is and no no my bad bro I'm in Puerto Rico right now on vacay so oh, that's right <laughs> yeah took um, a break real quick my bad what was you saying that's right no I was saying so uh like being so there's like some bad and some good like of gypsies like there's a certain type that do get into all that like dark stuff and everything. Yeah, yeah. It it all depends what you're looking for, bro. Okay, got you. And how old are you? I'm 32. Okay, and you said you started music like early on. Yeah, like, like 15. Oh, okay, so what uh tracks like? Just early on, did you drop at first? Like, what was your first song? To be honest, I still, from 15 to basically now, um, I have three kids. I have two sons and a daughter. And um, I was doing the battle and shit, and then I took a break for a little bit. And then I had my kids, and then I did the producing thing. And then uh, just last, what, two years ago, actually, I started, I was like, you know what? I'm going to start putting shit out. So I talked to my boys. Um, they helped me up with engineering and everything like that. And I just started putting things out. Um, yeah. Um, the earliest track I have is Officer. Officer, if you listen to Officer... Um, basically, I talk about the gypsy shit. Um, I talk, uh, it's basically a story. I'm, I'm leading you into my off, uh, officer is basically a place of business, you know, for a gypsy. If you want to get your fortune telling there, anything spiritual done there, that's an officer. Oh, so, okay. That's where they that's where they do their thing, you know. So that song officer basically tells you what we do, you know. 
That was my early year one. So, uh, so you were just into uh, the whole gypsy stuff like your whole life? Like, yeah. Oh, okay. And um, so did you, uh, how were your grades like going to school and all? Were you like one of those like... A- Good students I was a B a, B a C student. The teachers loved me, but the students didn't. <laughs> no, okay. So you were just fucking around, always on doing some other shit, not in class. Nah, nah. I was doing my shit, man. You know, my I, I'm gonna say it like this, all right, man. My parents, they always wanted the best for me. You know, like all parents do. They want the best for their children. So, um, to pay homage to them and everything like that, I'll do good. I wouldn't be fucking around or anything like that. I'll be I'll be doing good in my school work. Outside of school, it was different. But in school, I showed the teachers respect. I would do my grades, do all that. But the kids, they didn't like me, man. Because they, I just had too much swag, and then I would fuck them up in the hallways or the bathroom. Mm-hmm. So you're you were like getting down and shit, like squabbling up with other like kids oh, so. in the class. For so. Did you end up like ever getting in trouble for that? Getting like suspended? And yes, all? Uh, I was locked up. I was suspended. All that. Yes. Okay. So, did you ever like end up hopping in the streets, like just roaming around all that? Yeah. Okay. Who doesn't? <laughs> who doesn't when they live in the? Hood? <laughs> You're right. So was there like a lot of violence where you grew up? Yeah, man. It is in Harlem in the in the early nineties and the early two thousands. It was still pretty bad, you know. Now it's starting to clean up a little bit. They're starting to make like new uh, stores and all that. What up? Um, but I I seen some shit. Yeah. All right. So, was there any situation uh where like you got into like where you got locked up for like end up like harming anyone or any of that? I I got schizophrenia, bro. I'm gonna tell you like that. I got paranoid schizophrenia. I before I never took my pills. I never went to therapy. Never did none of that bullshit. I used to think it was just some shit, like talking about your feelings and all that. But right. when I had my when I had my kids and everything, I needed to do that, you know. So. I, I I put myself on medication and all that. I did that, but gangs and friends and all that shit. They used to use my schizophrenia as a how can I say it as like a weapon for them for themselves. You know, they would be like, "Yo, hey, yo, just go to over there, and, yeah, go over there and hit that nigga in the mouth just because he's smiling." <laughs> Type shit. Oh. So you, uh, the whole like, and everyone that you were around like influenced you or like influences. Yeah. Well, not influence, not influence. It was just, if you know what paranoid schizophrenia is, is is basically you hear shit and see shit that other people don't, you know, and um, that's they they were just, I I feel like like paranoid schizophrenia people if they see a group of people in the corner they automatically think oh that person is talking about them or they feel not safe or they get paranoid you know like that so if somebody comes to me and starts telling me oh those people over there is talking that shit and i'm already thinking that 
It's going to just kick it off. Okay, so um, having your first kid, do you feel like it was uh, life changing? And how was it like towards your music? Do you feel like you went in even harder? Yeah, man. Um, I, I was locked up with my first kid, my daughter. And when I got out, I automatically had to switch up. I had to start behaving. I had to stop all the shenanigans in the streets. Um, I just had to grow up, bro. I was doing real bad. And um, I told myself, I was like, you know what? I need something that's going to keep me out of shit and that's going to bring me to godliness sooner or later. So I just started fucking around with music. All right. So it's pretty much like a spiritual thing, awakening. Yeah, right. man. Having, having kids can change you, bro. <laughs> it can change you. All right. And how old were you when you had your first kid? 15. All right. So, like, hella young, you know. Yeah, so that, yeah. did that make you, like, also, like, stay away from the streets? Or were you still, like, active during a time in the street? A little bit until my first baby mom started Trip. getting on my case. I mean, yeah. yeah. But it was for the best, though. I had, I had to listen to her and um change my ways, dude. For real. That's just tough. So um also when did you make your like uh full on project? Like what time was that? Um well I've been just shooting out singles right now. Um, I'm actually working on something called The Shed. It's going to be my mixtape um, that I'm working on with my boy for 308. Um, we already got the song that was done. We just got to get a mix and master, and then we'll be straight. And that'll be our first, like, my first shit. All right. And is there any, like, features that that's yeah. planned? Have to go down. My cousin, my cousin Rob G's is also gonna be on that shit. Um, mainly me and Fatudo. We're trying to do like this um English Spanish type shit, like back and forth Batman Robin type shit. You know. All right, you and you be getting like all the fans because get the ink people that speak English. To, and the people that speak Spanish. So. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna That's get you. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. These there's some like there's these TikTok reviews, right? <laughs> that I be getting on just shooting out unreleased music, right? And um, some of the feedback, bro, ain't what we be looking for. And I know that we ain't gonna hit all home runs and shit, but it's not catching on, you know, and I'm hoping that it does, bro, because uh, English, Spanish type shit going off right now and some real bars. That's what we need, man. This fucking mumble jumble shit is getting on my fucking nerves. Yes. I miss the bars, man. I'm a 90s baby, bro. This fucking the bars like DMX, Jada Kiss, all them niggas. That's what we need right now, bro. Or storytellers like Biggie. Or yeah, Fox. like back to the like old. Switch it up again. Yeah, man. They still made us bop, bro. Yeah, most stuff. Do you feel like there's still like a space for that, like a scene going down, like? In Brooklyn, I got a lot of people still on that wave. Yeah, yeah. 
There's still bars out there, man. It's just some people don't listen to them. All right. So, um, how do you feel like, uh, and are you like a big fan of like Pop Smoke at all? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How do you feel about, have you seen that interview they done with his like, I think the Kiss Killer, uh, No Jumper? No, I haven't seen that yet, bro. I was oh. I was recently out for a little bit, bro. My bad. <laughs> All right, no, no. Yeah, do you feel like it's dangerous for like artists from like Brooklyn or anyone New York and all to like travel to LA and like perform, or there's like no like cause or effect? It's all about checking in, man. That's all. It's all about checking in. Okay, and do you feel like you gotta like go to a certain person or just like know a certain call, a certain person before you go out there? Like yeah. Good. All right. I feel like <laughs> you can't so- you can't go in my black in Harlem, bro, and I know somebody not notice you and be like, yo, he don't belong here or None of that shit go down like that, bro. They'll yeah. they'll fuck with you. Yeah. So you just gotta like check in, yeah, and let just know the right people and all. Yeah, and if you don't, they'll approach you. All right. And what about like? giving money towards them for protection and all. Like, do you feel like that's needed too? <laughs> no. Unless unless you ain't connected yourself. You know, they, yeah. If you ain't connected yourself, then yeah, pay that money, bro. Yeah, most of And uh, have you done any venues recently? Not yet. Any like plans like to go to any shows for? Him? Yes, I'm working on. I'm working with a right now a promoter in Allentown, and I'm seeing what he can do for me with the clubs over there and everything. Okay, so how is like Puerto Rico? Like, just the environment. It's cool, there. man. It's cool. I love it, man. I love it. Laid back and all. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's a there's another place he can't just come up to, man. Hey, if you're a tourist, you gotta you gotta be in the tourist section. You gotta like that too over there. You be going yeah, down. Yeah, man. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Everything's old school over here, man. So you know, it's culture over here. Okay, and like. Have you like found any inspirations out there or anything like that you could put towards your music? I actually banged out like three tracks while I was out here, bro. That's right. So just on the grind and all. Yeah. That's, I feel that. And um, so do you do you have any like songs in the vault just kept away, just not ready to release yet? Yeah, I got what? Let's see, probably like eight, maybe. Yeah. All right. So, like, any plans to like put that in, like a project or maybe mm-hmm. drop some singles? Um, I bought a couple beats from a producer called Devont Young Devante. I don't know if you ever heard of him. Um. Who was another producer? Uh, Any up? Um, I forget the other producer's names, but I already got the the beats already purchased. I already, you know, wrote the songs. I got maybe the hooks. Uh, some of the hooks are already down. Um, I just gotta put the verses in, bro. I already got them done. 
but that's a that's another that's another project. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So you already just have some stuff already going. And do you have like any like music videos planned? To yes, film? And I'm also when um the shed comes out, the mixtape. We're gonna be doing uh, music videos with a local, a local um, videographer. Oh, all right, that's what's up. Oh, I think you kind of glitched out. You got me. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, you said you. Were... Uh, now nah, you're good. All right. Um, the videographer is Hitman Holla. Uh, he's a Allentown videographer, so I've been talking to him lately. All right, that's what's up. Yeah, I definitely want to see hear a project from you, some fresh. No doubt, bro. Hear that, like, let hear that, like. Spanish and English just drop that heat for sure. No doubt, no doubt, man. Yep. And uh, before we go and all, do you want to let the people know like where they can find your music, like your I'm on, Insta, all that? I'm on Insta. I'm on Instagram at um the real gypsy two three two. Um, my Spotify is gypsy. Um, my I'm on Apple, all the major uh, platforms, uh, SoundCloud. Majority of my stuff is on SoundCloud right now. Um, those were my earliest ones. Uh, Y'all tap yeah. in. Mm -hmm. Yep. Any, any like inspirational words just to give to like. Uh, artists that are growing up in like a familiar situation as you that want to do the same thing. Um, yeah, man. If if you love this shit, why not get paid for it? You know, <laughs> why not do something that you love to do? Yeah. And and just keep grinding, man. Just keep grinding. Y'all yeah, hear that? Words from Gypsy. Y'all go tap in with him. This is the Rap Wars interview. Go cop your merch, spokenwords.com. We out of here. All right, later. Um, uh, see you, Lou. All right, what's the show going to get you back on? All right. Ladies, everyone, until the next one.